three hours, 48 minutes of fifth set tiebreak for Nishikori over Carlin. Boy, I tell you what, Bill McAtee and I called this match. Nishikori had a Houdini act. He was down love 40 at four all in the fifth. Then Karlovic served 7-6 in the tiebreak. Once again, Kei Nishikori keeps that great five-set record going, Brett. Nobody better in deciding sets in the history of men's That's tennis. That's amazing. It's one of those crazy stats, but it's true. 59 aces for Karlovic, by the way, in the law. So here's the Nishikori quarter of the draw. This is also the Djokovic quarter with Nishikori being the next highest seed. Guys, who are the biggest obstacles here between Nishikori and a Djokovic meeting in the quarters? The guy at the bottom, Kei Nishikori. He's, he's solid enough. Bonini's flashy. He's got the talent, but the flash three out of five against Novak doesn't work. Don't love that Nishikori's already played 10 sets of, uh, of tennis here. Boy, Novak's draw. I, I don't know. I think that's why that win, I mean, any five set win is huge, but that win was monster for Kay because it wasn't like you win that match and then, oh, by the way, you've got Rafa next or Roger. Oh, by the way, you pull out that right, tough right. match and you fight that hard. That draw is pretty favorable to Kay. Obviously, some quality players, but. Very good opportunity for Kay to keep going. Let's not forget the first round. Nishikori was down two sets to love yep. and uh, against a qualifier who cramped and had to stop. The so. last time that Kay Nishikori won two five setters in a major, 2014 U.S. Open when he made the final, beat Stan and Raonic in five and then had enough left in the tank to beat Djokovic in four before losing to Chilla.